Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Gmail API to send an email with attachments in Python. All right, so here I'm on the Gmail documentation. And before we get started, I want to just quickly go over some of the important information. When you send an email with attachment or attachments, I believe that the maximum file size per email is 35 megabytes. So if you need to send attachment uh, file size larger than 35 megabytes, in that case, you may need to use some other methods such as using a Google Drive to uh, share the link that a user can download the file or some other ways. For the accept media my types, we don't need to worry about this. I'll show you why in a second. And let's see. As I mentioned before, I'll be using users that messages that send method, which is this method right here. And this method takes user ID as a parameter, upload type. Okay, so this one is interesting because uh, in my script, I'm actually not providing the upload type. But just keep in mind that uh, this parameter is available. And let's see. Here are the four scopes your program or your application uh, can use to request the permission level to uh, send an email using the user's account. Right, so here's the request body. We need to provide the route string, and this one's optional. In case if you are replying to a continued email chain and want to uh, send an email with attachments, then we need to provide the thread ID. And here's an example on how to send an email with attachments. You also need to have your client secret file and the google.py file. You can download the google.py file in the link in the description below. All right, now we can start writing our Python script. Oh, and here's the email account I'll be using. And my email address is going to be data.dummyaccounts at gmail.com. So account is going to be ACCT. From the Google module, I'm going to import my create service function. I also input the OS module and base64 module. So this module allows you to encode a file raw string. So from email.mype.motipa, I want to import the my motipa class. I think this is a class, I'm not so sure. And from email.mime.text, I'm going to import the mime text class. And from email.mime.base, I'm going to import the mime base class. From email, I'm going to import the encoders function. And the last library we need to import is the mime types module. All right, so here we need to create our variables to provide the required uh, stuff to make a Gmail API service instance. So we need to provide a client secret file. API name. API version. And one V1. And the scopes. For the scopes, I'm going to just use the mail.google.com scope. Now I can create my Gmail service instance. And I'll name the instance service. I'll insert the create service function. And I'll provide the client secret file, API name, API version, and the scopes. Now let's take a look at the attachments I'll be using. I'm going to attach three files in my email. I'm going to attach an image file, a CSV file, and a Word document file. I'll create a list. I'm going to name this list file attachments. And this list is going to contain the file path of all the files I want to attach to my email. So I'm going to grab the file name. For the directory path, I'm going to mainly type the path uh, in this exercise. So it's going to be attachments, 
and followed by the file name. And I'll make a copy of this file name two more times. And I'll just manually change the file name. So this one will be test.docx. And this one is going to be, so let me, let me rename my CSV file. I'm going to name this as states.csv. Alright, so once we have the file attachments uh, list created, I'm going to create an email message variable as the uh, text I want to write in my email body. I'm going to say three files attached. Now I need to create my, my multi-part instance to uh, store the contents of the message. So I'll name the object my message. This goes to my multi parts. I'm going to make a copy of this object uh, three more times. I need to specify my recipient's email address. So I'm going to insert the two reference. This goes to followed by the person's email address. I'm going to send the email to myself. And my email is data dummy account at gmail.com. For the subject, I'm going to type, you got files. Now I'm going to attach my email message using the attach method. I'm going to insert the my text uh, class. I'll insert the email message variable. And the second parameter is going to identify the message type. Do you want to send it as plain text or do you want to send it as uh, HTML? I'm going to send it as plain text. From this point, I'm going to attach the files to my uh, email message. So here let me insert notes, attach files. And this one is going to be uh, create email message. I'm going to write a loop. So I'm going to say that for attachment in file attachments, I need to get a my type first. So I'm going to insert the my types library dot guest type. The guest type function will look at a file name to guess the my type. So you can insert the attachment variable and which is the file which is the file path. And this function will return a tuple. I'm going to store each element to a variable called content type and encoding. And based on the content type, we need to separate the content type by main type and subtype. So here I'm going to create two variables, main type and subtype. And from the content type object, I'll insert the split method. I'm going to insert a uh, forward slash as the separator. I'm going to grab the second uh, item. I also need to grab just the file name. And to do that, I'll use the OS module dot path dot base name. I will insert the attachment object. Next, we need to open the file. So we're going to insert attachment. And we're going to open this binary. Now we need to create my base instance. And this instance is going to store the attachment. We need to provide the main type and subtype. I'm going to name the output as uh, my file. And we need to set the payload. I'm going to insert the file that read method. Next, we need to provide the header to add uh, details of uh, what the attachment is. And it's going to be content disposition. And it's going to be attachment. And we need to provide the file name. Since we need to convert the attachments to raw string, here I'm going to insert the encoders library that encode base64. 
I'll insert my file object, close the file, and attach the file to the my message object. That attach. I'll insert my file object. And that's it for attaching files. There are just two more steps left. We need to decode the raw string. So here let me do this. From base64 class dot URL save b64 inco. I'll insert the my message object and convert that as bytes. Then I need to decode the output. And I'll store the output as raw string object. Alright, so that's all the preparation we need to do. Now we can finally send the email. And to send email, I'm going to insert my service option dot users dot messages dot send. For the user ID, I'm going to use me uh, as the spatial reference to indicating that I'm going to use the authenticated account to send the email. And for the body parameter, I'm going to insert a dictionary. And I'm going to insert a key code raw. And the value is going to be raw string. The ASCQ. And I'll save the output to an object called message. I'll print the message. All right, and that's it. Now, let's see, let me go back to my email account. Now, let me activate my virtual environment. And if I run the script, and here I need to choose the account I want to send the email from. So I'm going to use my dummy data account. Click on events and proceed to the permission request. So here I'm going to click on allow. Okay, and here in my script, I have some typos. Oh, this should be message. All right, let me try again. Okay, so uh, the emails has been sent. And I know that because uh, this line right here, is the output of the message object. And based on the label IDs, this email object is stored in the unread folder, send folder, and the inbox folder. Now let me go to my email account, and here's the email. Let me zoom in a little bit more. If I click on this email, and here's the image file, uh, the Word document file, in the CSV file. So this is I'm going to show you in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.